Hello and welcome to Windscope Academy. This is our five uh, ways of learning any tech skill using ChatGPT, which is the bot that you've probably heard of in news and hopefully already tried out yourself. But we'll quickly dive into it where we'll see five different prompts that you can type in ChatGPT to get very useful results when wanting to learn something. The first one is learn from the best. So by typing in, analyze the top performers in and then the uh, tech category that you want to learn and give a list of the most important lessons I can learn from these top performers to boost my productivity. You will get ChatGPT to analyze uh, top minds within the field and return the, prompts, uh, the results to you. Let's see how it works. Number two, learn any new skill. So this is the very basic, I want to learn, the skill you want to learn. Generate a 30 day plan that will help a beginner like me learn the skill from scratch. Prompting this to ChatGPT, it will provide you a 30 day uh, detailed plan on how you can approach this new tech skill. Let's again see how this works. Number three, create a personalized tutor to accelerate your learning. Here you are prompting, I'm currently learning about, again, the topic you want to learn. Ask me a series of questions that will test my knowledge, identify knowledge gaps in my answers and give me better answers to fill those gaps. So this is one that you can use, for example, ahead of a job interview or just when you are uh, wanting to see whether you have fully understand the topic. Let's see how this works. Number four, learn faster than ever with the 80-20 technique. So here you are prompting, I want to learn about the topic, identify and share the most important 20% of learnings from this topic that will help me understand 80% of it. So this is a very popular popular technique uh, that has now been, uh, that can now be automated using ChatGPT. Let's see how it works. And the fifth, improve your decision making. So if you're in doubt about whether you should learn one thing over another, or just in general have a, a question uh, where a decision is needed, you can type, I'm trying to decide if I should. And for example, learn Python programming, give me a list of pros and cons that will help me decide why I should or shouldn't make this decision. So this can be used if you are deciding, for example, between two programming language and you want to get some pros and cons on whether or not you should choose one over another. So let's see how this works. 